Hey, Joe Landry here, World Earthing Embedders Coach. Uh, I'd just like to tell you a little bit about uh, Module 2, which is uh, standing grappling, so takedowns and stuff like that. So when we deal with it in close situations, we always have to think about, are we going to end up on the ground? Because we don't want to end up on the ground. We want to stay on our feet. Uh, the ground is a dangerous place. Weapons get pulled out, multiple attackers. You get booted, you'll, get, you'll just get hurt. So we do everything we can to stay off the ground. So in judo, there's a lot of body contact. And judo moves are great. I love practicing judo. Uh, it's really fun. It's effective, for sure. But the only thing with that in combat is that you have to do a lot of body commitment, like body on body. And the chance of you going down is quite high. So even if you get a successful throw, the person could hold on to you and you go down with them, and then it becomes a ground fight, which again, we don't want to be on the ground. So in our takedowns, we, we don't do throws as much, we do takedowns. Very simple stuff that you've done as a kid in the playground, uh, some other things you definitely haven't done, but it limits the body contact and it increases your chance of staying on your feet while your opponent lands up on the ground in a position where you can end up kicking them, stomping them, grabbing something and hitting with it, or just simply escaping. So the, the idea is to remain on your feet and get them on, their ground, on the ground so you can finish them or escape. Um, we even do a little bit of like the wrist, wrist crank stuff so you can have an understanding of it. Uh, it's, it delivers an incredible amount of pain, but overall we just want to keep it simple, uh, keep it effective. Uh, anybody can do this. When you practice this stuff, be careful because you can slam your person, your opponent to the ground very hard. Right. So a simple idea like just if you think of a like a judo throw in a sport context, if I have their arm and I flip them over and I land them on their back, in a combat situation you would flip them over and you would land them on their head. So basically you're standing them straight up and then they break their neck, stuff like that. So it's this stuff is for combat, it's for kill or be killed. So we always have to be careful when we practice. You never go full out, you never full speed, full power. That doesn't happen in this. Uh, you can go full speed, full power in your sports stuff because it's designed to not kill your opponent. It's designed to, it's for designed for competition. Competition is different. Rules exist, there's an honor code, stuff like that, there's no honor code in the street. Um, maybe they're used to, but there isn't uh, fight for your life, anything goes. So keep it simple. If you practice in judo, wonderful. Uh, if you haven't trained train for quite a while, I'm gonna get back into it because I love it. But just remember, as a judo practitioner, you gotta think, do I want this close? Do I want somebody on me when I'm throwing them? Because they could even pull out, they could even have a weapon on them and you didn't see. And you go to throw and it's, it's in your back or it's in your stomach or and it's in your throat. So simple takedowns, that less body contact is definitely your best bet. Thanks for watching.